I'm Mark Missler from Missler's Furniture and Appliances. Some of you even know us for fireworks. We mess with those a little bit the 4th of July. We just wanted to take this opportunity here at the holidays, Thanksgiving and Christmas, to tell everyone we do appreciate your business. We are a locally owned company. Uh, we've been here many years, I think 24, 26 years now. And uh, we thank everyone for shopping with us. We've got a lot of great deals uh, that we will have uh, between now and Christmas, as always. But uh, some real special deals we'll be doing. But what we wanted to do today is talk to everybody. Been a tough year on everyone, election year. Uh, some people are happy, some people are sad. But uh, even my family have a lot of folks that uh, maybe their health isn't real good. Um, maybe a relationship you're in isn't real good. Um, lots of different things and lots of different problems, our finances. And uh, here at the holidays, we all get caught up in what we want for Christmas, maybe, or what we want to get someone. But I just wanted to take time and think about the real reason for Christmas is Jesus. And, um, you know, Jesus is my personal Lord and Savior, and I hope that he's yours. If not, I think it would be in your best interest to make him your Lord and Savior and um, to try to do that. And I would be glad to talk with anybody about that. Uh, a lot of churches here in the area would be glad to do that too. But for now, I just want to run through the Christmas story and uh, read that. And everyone maybe could take a few minutes to enjoy that. This is in the Bible in Luke chapter 2. It says, In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. This was the first census that took place while Quirinus was governor of Syria. And everyone went from his own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to Bethlehem, the town of David. Because he belonged to the house and line of David, he went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in clothes and placed him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. There were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is Christ, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in clothes and lying in a manger. Suddenly a great company of heavenly hosts appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace to men on whom his favor rests. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off. They found Mary, Joseph, and the baby, who was lying in a manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told them about this child. And all who had heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. But Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things they had heard and seen, which were just as they had been told. This is a great story. It talks about Jesus' the Son being born. For us, you, a Savior. He was born in a manger. There was no room for them in the inn. They had, they had to have that baby out in the barn where the cattle were, probably a cave, some kind of shelter. A lot of folks out there right now don't have shelter. Um, we work with the call, uh, a lot of foster kids with a lot of problems. We need to really be thankful about the things God has given us, which is shelter, family, our health, each other. We need to think about what all he's given us and what can we really do for others to change their lives. Not something's going to excite them under the tree 
for a few minutes. I mean, I don't know how often we buy stuff and we end up throwing it away or it's on a garage sale. And I know we all do that. I'm not condemning anybody for that. But maybe you could open your home to be a foster parent. Maybe you could help support a foster family. Maybe you could be a grandparent to a foster child. Maybe you could just love your neighbor as yourself. There's a lot of things we could do this year that we need to be thankful for. As always, we here appreciate your business. We hope you come see us and we look forward to next year. Thank you. Hey there, shoppers, I got something to say. You know, Liquidation Outlet is how you can save the hard-earned money you make every day. You see, we got friendly faces when you walk through the door, and prices are always lower than the retail store. We got Christmas trees, phone cases, candy galore, heaters, pillows, band-aids, even locks for your door. We got appliances, toys, and furniture, too. Tons of hot deals just waiting for you. You know, there's so much product I can't fit in my rhyme. So something shop around and see what you find. At the Liquidation Outlet, the Liquidation Check us out. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, a beautiful day to save. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? Won't you be my customer? Hi, can you say savings? Sure you can. And I know you can say discount too. Can you say Christmas tree? I know you can, especially when it's 50% off of all trees. Can you say Santa going click, click, click across the rooftop for some twist headphones as seen on TV? Can you say fudge brownies? I can, and it's my favorite treat. Okay, my peeps, come save now at Liquidation Outlet for all your Christmas needs. Today at Main Street Service Center, we're, um, we're replacing an axle seal for a gentleman. This, uh, this is not normal. Uh, all this, this, this is just basically dirt that's built up on top of grease. Uh, the grease has come from a seal that has failed. This seal actually goes up inside this tube assembly right here, this axle housing assembly. And it goes up inside there. And uh, then eventually, this is this is the axle, so the seal would go down and go around like there. And so what that does is that keeps the the gear oil and and uh, everything that keeps this axle lubricated in the bearings. It keeps it from coming out and getting out onto not only the backing plate, but look at these brakes. This axle grease is just absolutely coated and destroyed these brakes. Um, and so this was actually found, this customer came in, he was having an emergency brake issue. His emergency brake cable had broke. And so we um, uh, brought in to fix that. And then we told him, by the way, we noticed that your backing plate on the driver's side uh, is um, appears that there's an axle seal leaking. And uh, we showed him the difference between this backing plate and, that, and the backing plate on the passenger side, which is completely dry and stuff like that. So he brought it back in to let us check it out to replace this seal. So that's what we're doing. But whenever you bring your vehicle to Main Street Service Center, we have professional technicians that are going to be not only looking at the job at hand, the reason that you brought us the vehicle, but we're also going to be looking it over for safety issues. You can imagine if, if this customer gets into a hard braking issue and he needs to rely on his brakes, that this is what he's trying to rely on. And that's going to be a safety issue, not only for the customer, but also anybody that happens to be out on the road with him. So at Main Street Service Center, we're looking at those different things for your safety as, as well as the protection of uh, the other people people out on the road and obviously we're here to make money and to, to replace parts and, and do things on customers vehicles that need to be done. In 27 years of business I can honestly say that I have never sold a customer something that they did not need. I have absolutely tried my hardest to sell a customer anything that I that I did find that they needed. At least give them the option of finding out this is what we found, this is what you need, here's the price, here are your options, what would you like us to do and then the customer is able to make an informed decision of how they want their vehicle repaired. This customer was in no obligation to get this axle seal fixed, but whenever we brought it to his attention, he definitely wanted it taken care of for not only his safety, uh, but also the longevity of his vehicle. 
So if that's the type of technician that you're looking for, that's the type of shop that you're looking for, Main Street Service Center is the shop. We're located at 620 Goblin Drive. Our phone number is 741-4252. Um, we would definitely love to have your business. If you have any question or comment, please don't hesitate to give us a call. Find us on Facebook. Hi, my name is Michelle and I'm here at Nature's Wonders and I'd just like to take a minute of your time today to talk to you about some of the local products that we offer here at Nature's Wonders. Uh, products that are made by our customers, your neighbors, people right here in our own community. The reason this is important is because when you're supporting local products, you're supporting um, people and families and friends maybe even right here in your own community and the money that you're spending is going right back into your community and uh, affecting positively affecting people's lives who um, you may even know and also supporting different organizations, charities. Um, so it's so important to, uh, when possible, do business locally. But not just doing business locally, these products are actually made locally, which is really neat. And it's even a step beyond. And we do our best to be that bridge and offer those products in whenever possible. So I just wanted to take a moment of your time today to encourage you that when you're in Nature's Wonders, come up and ask one of our friendly staff, what products are local here? What could we, what could we purchase from you that would be supporting a local craftsman or a local farmer or a local family? And we'll be happy to show you some of those items because we have some amazing, talented people right here in our community who are offering great products every day at great prices. I'm James Harness, Harness Boots and Shoes, located in downtown Harrison, and I wanted to kind of re review with you on the boots first and then we'll get in some others but we sell tons and tons of the western boot and most of them are preferring the little square toes now if you didn't want square toes i got round ones and i've even got still some pointed ones but double h is one of my big uh, biggest and best sellers one reason they're 100 percent leather inside and out and believe it or not they're made in america so that makes them a little bit better than the average boot. We've got several styles of those, probably 15 to 20 different styles and colors. And so we sell Double H very, very good. A new line that we've recently acquired is Twisted X. That's uh, some of them there. And then this is a Twisted X here. But they're, they're similar to the Ariat, except it's a totally different company. And so we're selling Twisted X boots real good. Not only do I have them in boots, we'll get on back there a little while and get into the leisure, the casual. So they're back there, but we'll look at those in just a jiffy. But now, uh, most of our boots we'll carry from a little size 7 up through a 13 and 14. So if you're, and, and they come in different widths. But if you're needing boots, you need to come and see me bad. In this department, we carry the mid-height shoes, uh, work shoes, or leisure wear. I mentioned this earlier, but we, on this new brand, this Twisted X, there's a leisure shoe. Very, very comfortable. You can put that shoe on, and it doesn't even feel like a new one. It's, there's no break into it. We carry those from a size 7 up through a 15, so I fit most people, but there's probably... Oh, eight or ten styles of, of what we call the mid height or the work shoes. And uh, so there's Merrill's and uh, the uh, uh, Red Wing down there. So we've got all the good brands. And there's probably 15 to 20 different styles of the uh, mid height. So if you need something in a very comfortable uh, shoe, why uh, consider some of these mid height shoes. This is a department where we carry the uh, conventional western toe. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now this is a more pointed. It's not real pointed, but it's tapered. And we've got those in uh, buffalo leather, uh, calf skin, bull hide. So we carry uh, a few styles of those in uh, what we call a <clears throat> traditional western boot. 
This is one of the best buys that I've got in the house. It's 100%, 100 leather, full leather lined inside, on sale for one twenty nine ninety seven, and they go from a size seven up through a fourteen. So I can just about fit anybody in that little basic boot. But one twenty nine ninety seven is a heck of a good buy for one that's all leather inside and out. So uh, you might need to to see me on that if you just need a just a regular Western boot, work boot or dress boot. In this department, this is where we carry our work boots. Uh, they're Red Wings, they're Carolinas, they're Justin, um, Georgia boots, whole bunch of brands. We deal with old companies that's been around a long time. I have more faith in them testing their boots out good before they put them out in production. But we've got uh, work boots. Uh, they price uh, seventy nine ninety five and go up. Now these are the regular toe. These up overhead, there's quite a few of these factories that's requiring safety toes. All of those up overhead are safety toes. So uh, if you need something to protect the old toes from or being stepped on, I, uh, you'll need to see me. But there's probably probably 10 or 12 styles of safety toes. And then in addition to these, we carry these in safety toes. So altogether, there's probably 20 or 30 different styles of safety toes. And there are quite a few of the factories that are requiring safety toes now. In this department, these are slip-on work boots all the way down. One of the biggest sellers is this uh, George Strait boot made by Justin. Very, very comfortable. We carry those from a little old 7 up through a 13. But nearly everybody that puts that on says, my goodness, does that ever feel good? But these are all slip-on work boots down through here. We even carry a muck boot. Most people think of muck as rubber boots. They make a leather waterproof boot, too. So uh, if you need something in one, uh, any of um, seven or eight on up to a 13 or 14, we got you pretty well covered. And then I'd like to move into this department where we carry uh, insulated boots. There's probably eight or ten different styles of insulated boots to my right here. And the brands are Rocky, Wolverine, and Red Wing. And um, if you're going to be out this winter in the cold, snow, whatever, most of these are 100% waterproof, and they're all insulated. One of my biggest reorder boots probably is this uh, R-Setter by Red Wing. That's been their top seller now for several years, and it goes from a size 7 up through a size 14. So they're 100% waterproof, insulated, and, and uh, very, very comfortable. Then we've got a, 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 what they call a feather light. This is a Wolverine, and then we carry it by uh, Red Wing, too. It's camouflage light as a feather, one twenty nine ninety five. All these boots to my right are little boys' boots. They start at a little size eight, and uh, the brands of Ariat, uh, Justin, and Rockies. We've got those anywhere from a little bitty size eight, eight up to a man size, which is about a seven. But there's probably fifteen styles of boys' boots. Now moving to my left, these are little girls' boots on my left, and uh, they began right here, and pretty well all sizes in those. Going into winter, it'll be cold, sloppy, wet, snowy, whatever, and your two best sellers is muck boots and bogs. They're 100% waterproof, and they're insulated for warmth, and they come in different heights, so. Uh, ladies and uh, and uh, children and men's bogs and uh, and uh, these here uh, mucks they're they're the two top sellers nationwide. We're real big into ladies boots now, and there's uh, several different styles. I'd say probably 15 or 20 different styles. The brands are Ariat, Justin, Durango, and we try always to buy a boot that's 100% leather top and bottom. A lot of your cheap hose, this will be leather, but this will be man-made. 
but most of our boots are leather all the way up. And they start at a size 5 and end with a size 11. We got bunch, bunch, bunch of men's and ladies' belts. Um, they're all half price. And uh, they start at a little bitty size 30, I believe, and go up to a 52. And like I said, they're all half price. We buy them when they throw them on sale. This is the Justin here. We got Ariat and the ladies' uh, belts are right over there, but they're all they're all half price. And remember now that we do have layaway with as little as ten dollars paid down. We'll hold your layaway. We do ask people to come in every thirty days or so and make some payment. There's no time limit on our layaway. I've got some back there in the layaway room. Has Bob been there two or three years? But they're paying on on them some every month. So that's fine. Now we do gift wrapping free of charge. So uh, you need to see us because the holidays is is coming up pretty quick. So come see me at Harness Boots and Shoes located in beautiful downtown Harrison. When I first went to the museum, Miss Sammy Rose was the uh, director at that time, and she was coming to the nursing home and feeding her uncle. I was going to the nursing home and feeding my mother, and she took me to the museum, and I walked in there, and of course it's nothing like it is, is now. I mean, it was pretty crude and rude <laughs> really at that point, you know, and I just fell in love with what they were doing, what she was trying to, to accomplish there about preserving the history of of Boone County. Of course, I was born and raised in Boone County. The people, the people down at that, the museum, oh my gosh, they had meant more to me than anything. You know, the ones I worked with down there, and of course there was Fred Hudson, you know, and, that, uh, and Avril, remember Avril, and oh, I don't know, just different ones who've come in there and worked, and I just fell in love with everybody. And then the people that come in from out of town, it's amazing, so many of them, I, maybe gone to high school with, you know, or uh, some of their family had gone to high school with. To support it, yes, because you're not getting any help from anywhere else except total, you know, donations coming from the people that come in there and from the people that show a love for our county and our history in this area. So, um, goodness, yes, it needs to be supported. Kids need to be come too, and they love it. Kids love it when they come. I just just feel very, very strongly that the history of our county is there, right there. I think that museum is one of the best in the world, let's put it that way. <laughs> I love genealogy. Any genealogist will tell you, you got to know where you came from to find out where you're at. And uh, a uh, nephew of mine and I, we used to do a lot of traveling. When we come down here, why, they said they had a pretty good library to check on uh, down at the museum. It didn't really do me a lot of good because I had no relatives in the county as far as that, in the state as far as that goes. But I enjoyed everybody else's his story.
I really think it's a very, very important for the people that have lived here for years and years to have this at their fingertip so it's so much easier to find out something when you got it that you don't have to run all over Hills Half Acre to find it. Well, I didn't realize what we had in uh, the uh, cemetery here at Maplewood that we had a veteran of uh, the uh, Mexican War. Didn't realize that, I bet nobody else did either. And like I say, you learn more by accident probably than what you are looking for. Every once in a while you learn something. Hi folks, I'm Gordy. And I'm Debbie. And we're here to tell you about our Tribute to George Strait dinner show. Now if you all like George Strait, you need to come on out. You're going to get to find out things about George that you might not have known. A lot of people don't know it, but George does hold the record for the most number one hits of anybody in the recording music business. 60 number ones. And that means you're going to get to hear a lot of great songs. Amarillo by morning, Amarillo's where I'll be. This is how love goes. Check, yes, you know. Like a all over town, putting out old flames. Whatever he's doing, it looks good on you. You look so good in love. If you ever seen a movie called Pure Country, then you're probably familiar with a few songs out of that movie, including a beautiful love song called I Cross My Heart. In We do, all my exes live in Texas. Oh yeah, and we have a great time when we do that song because we give the fellas an opportunity to become a Branson star. And I feature some of the female opening acts for George Strait throughout the years. Simple and honest knows a thing or two about love. I could just come in, I swear I leave. Won't take nothing but a memory from the house that built me. And it all takes place at Jackie B. Goods Uptown Cafe and Dinner Theater. It's on Highway 165, just kitty corner from the Titanic. And there's a yellow Henry J. taxi cab right in front. Tell them about the meal, honey. Oh, we have the choice of country fried steak, Hawaiian chicken, deep fried shrimp. Mm, One good. of my favorites. Now, your favorite is... Uh, slow roasted prime yeah, rib. And it's all included in your price. Starting in September, we're going to be going Monday through Friday. So make sure that you come on out to Jackie B. Goods Uptown Cafe and Dinner Theater here in Branson, Missouri. Check out our award-winning tribute to George Strait. I'll be at home, troubadour, when I'm gone. Really, all of my life I've had really terrible teeth. I knew that eventually I was going to have to have dentures. I asked around and found out that Dr. Wanda McCaskey was just an, an amazing person. When she said that she can help me and told me the process of how everything works, I was thrilled. Dr. Wanda McCaskey is an amazing lady. She's so much fun to be around. It was just a pleasant experience all the way around. Dental Creations on the Square in Harrison, next to the Big Red Boot. KTKO Channel.